Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Goddard. I'm with Whitehorse Integrated Equine Body Work. And today I just wanted to give you kind of a quick little example of what the fascial system is like in our bodies and in our horses' bodies. Uh, I think it's something that's completely being missed a lot of times. And if you think about it, the fascia is a sticky type spiderweb structure that covers all of our organs, all of our muscles, all of our muscle bundles, all of our muscle cells, um, fibers, and so it's kind of a big deal. It surrounds everything and it's the container system. We have a lot of nerve endings in our myofascial system and it actually communicates with the brain letting us know where we are in space and how to move. So if that fascial system or the containers of all the different muscles and organs and groups gets compromised and gets tight or stuck, that's going to cause a big deal in a lot of horses and a lot of people. So this is the Hay Chicks Hay Net for the full bale. I absolutely love this thing. It lets me feed every few days instead of every day. But if you see after it's empty, it becomes quite skinny. Sometimes it's twisted up by the wind. Um, definitely not, this does not look like it's going to fit on here. But I'll show you what we do. And if you think about this as our fascia and this is a muscle, I'll kind of show you what my job is as a body worker to get the release in the fascial system so that the muscles can move right. So what I want to do is the first thing you do with the hay net or the fascial system is you're going to start spreading it out. So I want to start working this, getting it open, getting the fiber separated, moved around, back in alignment, and it's the same thing in our body. They kind of get askewed. So as we apply this hay net, I'm going to keep working it. I want the container of the muscle to be the most efficient, the broadest it can be, the most spread out and uniform as possible. Because what happens in our horses and what happens in our body is that we get stuck. Just like right here, if this muscle, say this is the quadriceps or the bicep femoris or even just the hamstrings of the horse, what happens if the fascia kind of gets bound up? It kind of gets in a bind here, then our horses aren't able to extend their stride. They're not able to stretch out. They're not able to turn their barrels or, you know, follow that calf as well because this container is not allowing this muscle to work appropriately and efficiently. And that's what we're trying to do as body workers is to get your horse moving as functionally as good as it can. So what we're gonna to continue to do is work that fascia. So we wanna constantly spread it out through body work, through myofascial release, through taping, through Masterson method, through scraping and cupping. And as we get to that fascia, spread out, we start to see nice alignment. Um, you can see how it's working efficiently now from that skinny little bag that was twisted to now a very broad sack that is spread out perfectly to match this muscle. So I really think this is a nice example. Again, shout out to Hay Chicks because they have the best nets ever. But if you can think about this next time you're using a hay net, or I hope this helps you understand what I'm trying to do with your fascial system is getting all the fibers spread back out so that it's not bound up, that it flows and slips and slides along the muscles instead of being sticky and stuck. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate it and have a great day.